besides uh, <laughs> trying to be making sure, here. making sure uh, Mike has a good morning. Sadie's over here being, being Sadie. She likes to just, <laughs> she acts like she's depressed, but she's not. <laughs> Come on, let's go, get in. Go ahead. Oh, you can do it. Come on, get up there. No, get get in. Go. <laughs> I know you can do it. I don't know why you act like you can't do it. All right, let's go. All right, you guys ready? Let's get out of here. Just after five, we made it down to the office here. Going to get things rolling for the day. But what happened to your face? How'd you get all that snow on your face? Huh? So it sounds like you guys really enjoyed that <clears throat> drone footage we put on yesterday. So I got my little, my little uh, YouTube station set up here, starting to get more and more things. I, I haven't really been able to use the GoPros that much because I got to figure out how to download that footage faster. Um, basically everything you see I do is just with my phone. But I am going to get the drone out today and I'm going to try and fly um, over some of the roof jobs. I think that's going to make for some pretty cool stuff. So we're going to do that. And then possibly uh, with Mike doing that mini X job over at Crystal Villa, I'm going to try to get a little bit of that. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. We'll check in later with that. Well, we found the source of our issue, contamination from the lift cylinder being bent, the right-hand side lift cylinder, put material through the system, and uh, unfortunately started to stick the spool valves, and that's what was causing the loader arms to just lift on their own upon startup with a pump stroke. You can see here the piston is pretty well destroyed. The barrel itself with the cylinder, know how well you can see this but it's got a pretty good bend to it here um, and unfortunately what caused that was packing from snow and ice just over time back here in this pocket where the lift cylinder rides you can see it's obviously gone now but it sits down in this pocket uh, the other side is still there so you get a better representation of how that sits it's at full lift Safety lock engaged, of course. But you can see this pocket slowly fills up with snow and ice. As the loader arm goes up and down, it packs it in until it basically becomes hard as concrete. And in this area here is where the other one packed so tightly that it finally bent the barrel of the cylinder. And then that piston sliding back and forth basically just made material. And now it's flowed through the hydraulic system on the machine. So we're coming up with a game plan to uh, hopefully not disassemble the entire hydraulic system, but go after parts that uh, that go from that cylinder, a couple little valves back into the tank. So try to make this as painless as possible. Okay, we're here at the 262D3 for the right-hand side lift cylinder bend and fell. That valve stack there is what we're gonna head after. Disassemble, reseal, clean. Hopefully be able to buff out any uh, scratches or damage within those systems, within those spools. Put it back together. Hydraulic tank is going to come out clean, make sure there's not too much debris in it. Hopefully the filter did its job and caught most everything. Ensure that the suction line is clear going to the pumps and we don't have a bunch of debris that we need to worry about looking into those pumps as well. And then we'll change that accumulator here which is for the ride control system, um, that likely caught a lot of material as well. So, and then of course, put a new right-hand side lift cylinder on it. And then if all goes according to plan, she'll be ready for service. All right, guys, we are back over at Crystal Villa. And now we've got this issue with these um, patios that have kind of gotten, this is from the roof dumps that we did. 
So we brought the Mini X over. I think we're gonna kind of do like what we did at Vaughn's. We're just gonna peel this stuff out without destroying the railing and uh, see if we can't uh, get these things kind of cleaned up. All right, we got Mr. Mike Blackwood here. He's gonna ease on into it. And he's gonna start pulling this stuff down. We'll see how it goes. Should just kind of work it right down and then we'll uh, we'll get the loader over here once we get a pretty good pile. It's, it looks like it's pretty hard, so he's gonna have to work at it. It's actually almost like ice. It's kind of definitely settled in. It's kind of gotten pretty pretty hard packed. We'll take a little uh, chunking away at it to get it out. What do you think, Andrew? You gonna get it? Okay. Yeah, it won't take too long. Just sit there and work at it nice and slow. Take our time, not hit the building. That's the goal not tear off the railing uh, that's the most important thing so Sadie's supervising right now she's gonna make sure Mike doesn't mess anything up what are you doing up there she's like a mountain lion up on a on a big old piece of snow up there come on come on Sadie so Mike's gonna get the loader fired up and run it back over to Crystal Villa. And we'll get back to some more of that, pulling that snow down and pushing it over into the storage. That, that seems like it'll be a pretty smooth and fun job. So we'll get some footage of that as it goes on throughout the day. These guys are just uh, waiting for the next movement. They are, they wanna go check on jobs. That's what they wanna do. Four foot curtain around the roof. So we got three, six, nine. Nine roofs. This should go pretty quick. Sadie loves to roll around in the snow. Hopefully she don't roll around that yellow stuff. So here's some more foundations here. They're just buried in snow. Mike's trying to find them. We got Clayton up there on the ramp. That's our new guy. He's trying to get him trained up. camera but so it looks like Bishop Mike and Bako Mike are working together over here got Bako Mike here that's Bishop Mike in the loader we've already moved all of this uh, this is the first area that we pretty much got cleared you can see the stress that it's putting on that on that railing there it's quite quite a bit these cap machines make life easy couldn't do it without them
hoist it up because it's way too far down to be carrying a case of waters. So we've got our eight foot ribbon cut. We got our ice dams broke off the edges. Now we'll take all this down to one foot. Let the sun do the rest. I'm finishing up right here on this corner. These guys got their eight foot coming here. I start breaking these ice down. Once we get over there. And here's our ramp. Taking all this down to one foot. Came over here to hillside. And they're getting ready to drop that, but the board fell and got buried. So we're gonna unbury it, put it back against the windows, and then finish dropping this one. Four feet back, all the way around. It's a lot of snow. Those ones over there are next. So we were telling the guys earlier this morning to be real careful about these gutters. Because <clears throat> ice dams are built around them, but this one's already broke. We haven't even been up there yet. Still gonna be real careful, but that one's that one's pretty much already broke off. So it's been a pretty busy day, folks. Uh, got some more drone footage. Sounds like the feedback on that was pretty positive. So gonna try to continue to keep that flowing for you guys on a daily or, you know, every couple days or so. Um, it takes a little longer to download that stuff. So, you know, sometimes I gotta do all my drone and then let it download like literally like overnight. <laughs> Our internet's not the best up in these parts. But anyhow, um, we're gonna head up to the mountain, up to Main Lodge, and I think the Toyota, I gotta, I can't remember the exact name of it, but it's a big, big competition that's gonna be starting up today and it's going on throughout the weekend. So we're gonna head up there and see if we can't get some some footage maybe even some drone um, of the park and some of that area up there so Lori and I are getting ready to head up there I'm gonna go over and pick her up right now we're gonna grab some lunch and then cruise up there and check it out so stay tuned Get on your bed. Go get on your bed, bud. Go. Get on your bed. Get on your bed. Get on your bed. You want the apple? Easy. 
loves his apple. check it out see what's going on with the Toyota Grand Prix hopefully we can uh, bust out the drone and do a little footage with that and uh, maybe we'll get some other stuff up there but um, check on our guys that are actually up on the roof still but let's get up there and see what's going on here gonna see what this uh, Toyota Grand Prix is all about I think qualifying is going on right now so uh, see what's going on with that all right guys so we are up here at Main Lodge you can see the pipe right there super sweet they are doing qualifying runs right now. We're gonna walk up there and take a look at everything and see what's going on. Looks like a lot of people up here having a good time today. Weather's pretty fair. So let's go check it out. So this is beautiful Main Lodge. Looks like everybody's just enjoying a good time out here. We need to get up here more often, that's for sure. We're always doing so much work down in town, we never really get to experience the, you know, the reason why everybody comes up here. And it's this right here. You can tell that was last minute, a little sketchy, and was not able to hold on to that landing. So, oh, that was sick. That was so sick. I hope the replay had that last hit because that was kind of like a crippler with a method. Oh, that halfway through. Oh, okay. So, we are at the famous Tusks. The Mammoth Tusks. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Come in for a real quick drink and uh, watch these qualifying rounds and see how it goes. All right, guys, so we popped up here to the uh, qualifiers. Pretty cool. Not too crowded, which is nice. Um, I forgot to bring my controller for the drone, so I'm going to have to get that for tomorrow. I'm gonna come back up tomorrow and try to get uh, some drone footage of this. But it's super cool to see you be up here and take a little time off and Lori and I are definitely enjoying the afternoon. We had a, we worked quite a bit this morning, but um, decided to come up here after lunch and just check it out. And then uh, we're gonna head back down and get back to work after that. All right guys, so Lori and I are gonna head on back down the hill, get back to town and uh, get back to work. Had a little uh, fun little break up here for about an hour. Got to see what was going on. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you back in town. Snow cat tours. I'd like to do one of those. Anybody's up in uh, Mammoth, check out Snowcat Tours. So, I just wanted to show you the uh, famous Blue Mammoth here so everybody can get a look at that across the country. So, there it is. Mammoth Lakes, California, guys. Look at this roof crew over here. Getting it, getting her done. A lot of hard work to clear these roofs, folks. Everybody's after it. This is Andrew, he's the apartment manager here. And uh, 
Mike's still just digging away at this thing. Gotten a lot of progress. It looks really good. We're really getting somewhere. That's quite a bit there. Okay, go boom, go boom, go boom, go boom, go boom. Go boom. <laughs> Tell her, Dad. Go party. <gasps> don't you do that. You don't jump. Go get your, go party. Go, go play. play. Go party. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed our video for today. Um, got to show you a little bit of the Toyota Grand Prix and some of the stuff we were up to today. As always, please like and share and subscribe to the channel. Helps us uh, keep growing and uh, spend more time on this uh, endeavor that we started about a month ago. It's been nothing but pleasure to show you guys what we're up to on a daily basis and look forward to showing you a lot more. So thank you for following along and we will talk to you soon.